about this flesh. So who the hell is this? Who is who's this guy? Any version of this stuff. But this is what our people believe in. So even, this is a Bible dictionary, it's put in the Bible dictionary. White scholars put this together. And they understand that the so-called Negro that's here in America is not the same people that's over in Africa. And don't get me wrong, some of our brothers and sisters, they live in Africa, right? But that's because after Jerusalem was sacked in 70 AD, Africans fled into the west coast of Africa. I mean, excuse me, our people fled into the west coast of Africa. Because remember, during the Dark Ages, we ruled Europe as the Moors, right? That's why a lot of Africans not like us. Yes, yes. Because they think we're ignorant. You remember the movie Sugar Hill with Wesley Snipes? Yeah. You remember that scene where Wesley Snipes working out a drug deal with the Africans? And they said, no, I can't do business with you. You're a cop shop. Remember that? They called you a cop shop, meaning you concentrate on the Africans. And he hit him. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we got Africans in America. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Y'all remember this history? This is what happened to our farmers and mothers. Yep. Right? This, they did this and they did this and they did this. They did this and they did this. Yes. 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 But they did this. Hey, that's why we out here. 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 Because they did this election to mock people. Because we out here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Guess where we can read that at? Guess where we can read that at? It's in the Bible. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you something. That's, that's right. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and I'm going to show you something. It's in the Bible that this happens. And it's, you're right. It's still happening to us today. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible says the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt, meaning slavery. That's what Egypt covered with the children. Now repeat that, that again. Repeat that again. Yep. And the that, Lord that, that, shall that, bring that, thee that come into through. Egypt again with Dude. ships. See that with ships. So we went into slavery. With ships to what? With ships. And when we got with off the ship, ship to what? look what happened. Look. Ma'am, what happened when we got the station? We were sold on auction slave blocks, right? right? Guess where I can find that history at? It's in the Bible. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you your history in the Bible. Yes. And it happened to us because we continue breaking God's rules. Right. Keep reading. Keep reading. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we're never gonna see our real homeland again. Because if I ask y'all, what's our homeland, man? What is it? Right. What's our homeland? Baltimore. See? Baltimore. Right. What do you say? You would say Africa. What right. would say it's all is okay. The good. New Orleans. The world. The what? All of it. All of it. Now watch this. Now let's see what God says is, is your real homeland. You know, here's what I want you to realize. You gave a different answer than she gave a different answer than he gave. It. You know why? Because of this. We lost our true heritage because of slavery. Now watch this. The now book, let's see what the Bible says. The book of Galatians, chapter four, and verse twenty-six. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. You just found something out, my sister. You just found something out. You just found something out. Your real homeland is not Baltimore. It's not just the whole world. It's Jerusalem. That's where your homeland is. But we were kicked out of Jerusalem. Now, watch this. Shut that again. No, they were, not, they were placed in that land in 1948 by the British and by the uh, uh, a declaration called the Balfour Declaration. Okay, they were placed in that land in 1948. After Hitler did what he did, that's when he started shuffling those people in into that land. That's your land. That's my sister's land. You understand? Keep reading. Watch this. That's why what they is we are the original Jews. Yes, my sister. You're, you are the original Jew. My sister right here, my brother right here. Y'all are the original Jews. Why do you think we gotta be out here for a Juneteenth celebration? Because of slavery. Because of what they do to us in slavery. And guess what? Here's so here's what's so evil. After uh June after Juneteenth in 1865, when we so-called got emancipated, there was a lot of black people that didn't even know that the Emancipation Proclamation was passed. And they Texas. Right, in Texas, Texas. yes. Yes, and a lot of black people didn't know 20 years later. Then after uh, after that Emancipation Proclamation, what happened? We had the black codes, where they were further oppressing us. Then we had Jim Crow laws. We didn't really get out of slavery until 1964 with the Civil Rights Bill, y'all. That's not that long ago. But keep it, watch this, there's more history. What is written, rejoice thou, parent. Verse 68. You listening, sis? What's your name, sis? Call me a son of God. Call you son of God. Okay, yeah. what's your name? Angie. Angie. Clinton. Clinton. Okay, read that. What's his history, y'all? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Meaning slavery. Again with ships. So we went into slavery on cargo slave ships, y'all. You understand? Keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We will never see our homeland as a, as a group of people, as a race of people. That's why those people. In, in Israel called his rain Yeah, give repentance, somebody give repentance, keep going. And there. And he, there, when he, you get, and there, meaning when you get off those boats, ye shall be sold unto your enemies uh -oh. for bond men and bond women. Uh, and no man. Whose well, history is this right here? It says when you get off the ships, you're going to be sold unto your friends. Did it say friends? Yes. Did it say That's friends? Right, did, did it say your friend? Yes. Is this man a friend? No. Is he a friend, ma'am? Never. Read it again. Read that part again. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen 
and bond women. So God said this would happen to us because we keep breaking God's laws. Keep reading. And no man shall buy you. Because who tried to redeem us? We had Malcolm X try to redeem us. We had Martin Luther King, Mega Evans, Marcus Garvey. Right? We had great men that tried to redeem us. But let's be honest, we're still killing each other today. We still don't have an identity today. And we're still being oppressed today. That's why a, a, a white man can come in a black community and shoot up 10 of my brothers and sisters that look just like you guys. And he could walk away, Scott. He could, he could walk away with his life in his hand. He's still alive. The cops was able to talk him out of that gun. But when a black man does something evil or uh, or any anything, the cops are ready to do what? Pop, 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 pop. Why do these things happen? Because of Hebrews 15. I'm going to show you why these things happen. Verse 15. Of what book? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if you don't listen to what God says to do through Moses at the time, to observe to do all his commandments, if you don't observe to do all that he tells you to do, and his statutes, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is being, being cursed, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that a blessing or a bad thing? It's, it's what? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing, right? So God said all these bad things are going to happen to you if you don't listen to me. Let's see what happens with the Israelites. 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What's that called? Slavery, y'all. That's what happened to us. That's our history. Guess where it's found? It's in the Bible. It's not in the Book of the Dead. It's not in the Quran. Let's read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Look right here, y'all. Give me the, trip, the slave trade. Where's the slave trade? I'm going to show y'all something. Where's the slave trade? Watch this, y'all. Here you go, right here. Do y'all remember this in school, y'all? Y'all remember this? this is school, right? The transatlantic slave trade. God said we were going to slavery on ships because we do not keep this commandment. Here's what we've been trying to do forever. We march, we rally, we vote, we go to Christianity, we say let's hug it out. And what changes in our communities, y'all? Why don't we try repentance? You understand? We got in, other, in order to be the, in order to see the change, we would have to change first. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Go to 2nd Chronicles 7 14. If my people call by my name, humble Now, watch this, y'all. She quoted a scripture all the y'all know, right? Y'all know that. Y'all heard that scripture before she quoted, right? That's a good scripture. That's an excellent scripture. My question to y'all is who are the people called by God's name? Who are they? Is it everybody? All of whom? Yes. Go read it now. Read it. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven and verse fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, that's the children of Israel. We were called by the name of God. Israel. Y'all know what Israel means. Get that. Hold that. Book. What does Israel mean? No. What? Do you, what do you, say. What does Israel mean? The word Israel. Sis, don't. What does Israel mean? No. Okay. Guess what? Because that's your real name. Your real name is Israel. Your royalty. That's what we're here to tell you. And guess what we could do? We could prove it all day in the Bible that this is you. Royalty in the Bible. But your pastor not gonna be able to tell you that? Your 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 school system, they they got our school system, they trying to turn the boys into girls and girls into boys in the school system right now. You're absolutely right. Now watch this. Read that. Yeah, you want to Oh, this one knows something. She knows something. She knows something. I want you to pay attention. The book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall, shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince hast thou power with God. See what the name Israel means? Prince of the power of God. That's what your name is. You understand, sis? Brother, your name is Israel. You have power with God. When you repent and keep God's law and set up prayers to the Lord, he's going to hear you. Now, go back. Second part of the second verse. 
But, but here's, here's what you gotta do first. Here's what you gotta do first. You gotta repent. You know, you know a lot. You're a smart lady. You know more than a lot of these brothers and sisters out here. Because if you, if they knew what you knew, they would be standing here with you. This, they would be standing. But let, look how many standing here. One, two. Three. So three. Yeah, three. Come, come closer, bro. Come closer. Oh, it's the wide road and the narrow road. Yes. yes. Read that. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Now, how do you humble yourself? Is it to me you're supposed to humble to? Who are you supposed to humble to? Oh. The Lord. Did you keep the Sabbath day yesterday? No. No. Did you keep the Sabbath day yesterday? Does the Lord command you now give me Exodus 20? Exodus 20. Christ. Yeah. They lie. They lie. Christ did the Sabbath day. So but we got when they asked him, could you heal somebody or do something for the Sabbath? And, 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 and he did. Yes. You know. What does that mean? No, that's not what that means, because we got to do that. Jesus did. Give me that, uh, read the Exodus 20 day. Watch, watch what the Bible says. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, the Bible says remember the Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath day? Saturday, right? How about... Christians read that. But they don't do that. Because that's what hypocrisy is. Jack came from, is it Emperor Constantine? And he wanted the money from them. This lady knows something. Hey, y'all hey, getting this on camera? So Come on, enjoy it. Y'all getting this on camera? He created David for Sunday to get the money. He gets down to come in. You need to teach. You need to teach that to all your fellow black Christians because they're all in sin. Keep out. Give me um, Matthew 12. No, give me Exodus 31. How long are we supposed to keep the Sabbath? You know what I want? Verse 16. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing, bro? This is about our true identity, bro, and history. You know why we had to have a June team? Because we, because, because of this. Right? Slavery, right? So why did this happen? Because we're all at a Juneteenth festival, but I guarantee you nobody at this festival can tell me why we went to today and teach to have even have a Juneteenth. Damn, I got a you question. You kind of weird? I got a question. How many days are you supposed to? How many days are you supposed to? What is one day a week, the seventh day. I'm gonna read it to you. But I'm, I'm figuring that it was seven days. No, no. he said he did a whole week. He worked six days, and the seventh day he blessed it yeah. and made it whole. Okay, all right. Now watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 31. What, what's your name? What's your name? I see you got a tattoo of a menorah. Okay, you know something. Verse 16. We're gonna get that too. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. You know you're the children of Israel? You know that too, right, sis? You know that too, right, brother? Now you know, right? Okay. To observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. For a what? Perpetual covenant. What does perpetual mean? What is perpetual? Partially covered. Huh? Partially covered. What does is, what is perpetual mean? Perpetual. That means forever. That's why I said throughout your generation. We're still generating up. Our races don't have babies and generators. So, hey, bro, what I just said? Not me, no disrespect to God. We're giving out free cell phones. So when a case is free, but that case is free, we're giving free phone calls. I'm telling you, that would be partially free. If you land in the bed, if both of y'all have free coverage. Not partial, not partial. Perpetual. Yes, sir. Perpetual. Perpetual means forever. Right? Read it again. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a perpetual covenant. We made a covenant with a nation that made a covenant with the Most High God to keep the Sabbath day and to keep the laws of God. Now, what is the benefit of keeping the laws of God? Let's see. This is the note. You read your Bible, don't you? Now, you read your Bible, sir? Right, right. Now let's get it. Let's get it. Watch this, watch this, watch this. What do you want? Book of Deuteronomy, 
chapter 28 and verse 1. And thou shalt go to Pan, and thou shalt hearken diligently if you listen diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. If you observe to do all his commandments, watch this. Which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, do you want to be, are we a black people in America? Are we really above all nations? Hell no. Hell no. Why? Why? Yes, exactly. So we're at the bottom of every nation. Guess what? Think about this. Have we been here before the Chinese people? In this land? Yeah. Are the Chinese people, do they own business in our neighborhood? And they go freely about? And are they getting shut down? No. What about the East Indians? They got all the gas stations. They got their own businesses and things like that. Well, they're going to be a big they don't trust too. We're gonna get there, right? But the other nations, they all have come here and put us over African American people above them. How is that possible when we've been here longer than them? You understand? What about the Jews who were killed by Hitler, who were burned in the oven? That's why I don't white crime. Those are white people who converted to your true identity. Give me that in uh, Exodus, no, Ezekiel 36 and 5. I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's see what the Bible says. Ezekiel 36 and 5. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Watch this prophecy here. Watch Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy I have spoken against the residue of the heathen. You know what a heathen is? A heathen is another nation. Okay, sometimes God refers to Israel as a heathen because we live like the people that are around us. In other words, we serve the other gods. Because when he brought that name to the promised name, he told him, don't go back to the Right. Brother. Don't follow their ways. Yeah, right. Because right. that's idolatry. Right. Greek. And against all Idumia. You know who Idumia is? That's a Greek name for the word Edom. Edom is a so-called white man. You got it? Neron. E-D-O-M means red. Go ahead. Uh, but I got Herod first. Herod was, Herod was the ruler that ruled over Jerusalem. The definition it says Herod, Idumean ruler of Palestine. Remember Herod? Herod was white man. He was a ruler. But he called him an Idumean because there was no white people in the Bible. There's no black people in the Bible. There's Israelites, Edomites, Elamites, and so forth and so on. You got to watch the Yeah, yeah most, most of the time. Even now, free file of the free file of the gift card. You know me, she has been confused about the Israelites. They were not confused about the Israelites. Yes, like the church. Yes, yes. But second, second back to said, guess where, guess where I can find that at? That's in the Bible too. That we were murdered and killed and forced to become Greeks. So when you read in the Bible about there's neither Jew nor Greek, it's the same people. In other words, you know you're a Jew. But that well, brother, she didn't know she no, 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 hold on, bro. You know bro, you're bro, a Jew. Don't know. Ah, you see that? So we, so we would call her an African American and her a, a Jew, but they're the same people. Repentance over to her, just as it is to her. Wait a minute. But is that because you're lighter? We have brothers that are very light, like we got a, a, a brother right here. I know I'm not saying. His hair texture is different than my hair texture, but that's not my brother. Free file and get a little bit of a the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. They after, declared their pedigrees, meaning their bloodline. After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their mothers. By the house of their fathers. So the lineage goes from the house of your father. You know what I'm Jacob had 12 sons. He had males. He was the father. So he had Judah, Benjamin, Manasseh, Levi. So in other words, the seed of the father determines the nationality of the child. Not the skin. Not the skin. 
Because guess what? If I have a if I have uh, a baby with a Chinese woman, guess what? That baby is still whatever I am. Not what she is. She is the incubator of that seed to grow. You understand? Same thing. If I plant a orange in uh, Africa. No, no. Let's say in Europe somewhere. What's gonna come out? But guess what? The Chinese is still whatever I am because I, I got the seed. Life is inside of me right now. You understand? And no matter what race a black man sleeps with, their baby is considered black. Yes, this is the notes of now. You know a lot. So we're going to put you to the test now, my sister. We're going to see if you're going to change. Oh, she ain't going to change. Oh, oh, that's right. She's going to stand right there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, she's gonna put you to the test. Oh, she's gonna, that, that's fine. Yeah, please put me to the test. Of, yes, both of them. You're wrong in 2025. Watch this, boss. I'm gonna stand here and watch her go to sleep. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no. No bodies in the second place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't take this as a battle. Nobody, we're learning together. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're my sister. That's what I want. You are my sister, and I love you. Because I've been searching for a little truth. Guess what? All these brothers are working, we've all been searching. And now we found the truth by the Bible. Now we put it into effect and apply it to our lives. And guess what? You can do the same thing. All right? Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So the Bible says the woman shall not wear what pertains unto a man. What does that say? So a man, you like when men wear dresses? Do you see men with dresses? Oh, no, I don't you don't like when men wear dresses? I didn't like What's that? The kilt. Yeah. Why you don't like it? What's wrong with that? That's the right thing. What is wrong with that? Wait a minute. 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 So what is it called when a man? What is it called when a man? Wears? What is it called? It begins with a C. Not a C. C R O S S. Yes, it's cross dressing when a man is in a in a in a uh, in the skirt. You agree? So I'm Do you agree? Oh, I have a pain. Oh, did I did I say that? Or is that what the Bible says? So the woman is out of order, just like the man is out of order. So guess what they all got to do? And you got to change. That's right. That's what that's called repentance. Now let me tell you, before the pandemic, I was in Christendom. I came out of Christendom because it's a false thank, religion. Thank God. And, and come out of Babylon because I don't want to be a part of her sin. Yes. And Good. Good. So where I'm at, you cannot come in there with pants on. So I have been wearing. I go twice. You know what our sisters do? You know what our sisters do? I've been wearing. You should come out of there too. You know what my? You know what our sisters do? They take the pants they used to have, add fabric to it, and turn it into a dress. A beautiful royal dress. Give me that dress again. One. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you what Pat said. So what we're, what we're showing you, what we're showing, what we're showing our people on, they are the greatest people on the planet Earth. But we got a lot of things going on in our black community, killing each other in Baltimore. We're sending drugs to each other. We're doing a lot of 
lot of evil to each other. And other nations doing a lot of evil to us too. So we got a lot of things going on. We gotta fix we gotta make sure we're safe and protected. You agree with that? Now, my sister right here, what's your name, sis? What's your name, man? Roxanne. My sister Angie knows a lot about this Bible. She knows why our people went to slave your station. You understand? Do you know why we're in slave your station? Because we continue breaking God's laws. So God, we can read it in the Bible, we can read it all day. God put us in slavery as a punishment for breaking his law. This is not our homeland. You know that, right? Did we lose our identity? We didn't lose our what's your what's your nationality? So you, what I'm showing you is we lost, all of us lost our identity together. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Watch this. Okay, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52 Watch and verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O you know, you know what? thy beautiful garments. Yeah, yeah, you heard what it said? It said put on your beautiful, you heard what it said? You are royalty. We're here to tell y'all about the royalty. But guess what? Our people don't know that. That's why they smoke weed, uh, have their kids growing butts, things like that. Our, our beautiful black sister twerking online. That's what they do, right? Why? Because they don't, they have a low self-esteem. That's why we gotta do things in vanity, in vain, to be seen. We always want to be seen, right? Read it again. Oh wait, oh wait. Put on thy strength, oh Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. Do you have beautiful garments? Yeah, right. You want to when you when you got married, did you have on some jeans, some ripped jeans or something? What about you? Did you have on some ripped jeans when you get married, or do you have on a beautiful dress? But why? 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 And it's just it's, it's, it's about presentation, right? And it's your day, right? And it's your day to be that what that princess, right? Because you're royalty, right? So God said, put on that royal garment, your royal garments every day. You're a princess of God. You're not a man, you're a princess, so you gotta dress in James. Like, oh, wait, oh, wait, put on thy strength, O Sire. Put on thy strength, O Now, here's my question to you. Hey, hey, my, my sister right here, sister right here. I got a question for all of y'all. Don't go to the sister. Sister right here, sister. Why do we have to have a Juneteenth celebration? Why? Why do we have to have a Juneteenth celebration? And what have you learned today at Juneteenth? Yes, right? Why do we have to be free? We were slavery, right? Why were we enslaved? What's the root of this? Why did this happen to us? Huh? Like what? Uh, Ma'am, you're my elder. What? Why did this happen to us? My sister, why did this happen to us? Why did, why did slavery happen to us when we had to have a Jewish celebration now? Come, come this way, come this way, sister. You come in, you're in the shade, you're not in the shade. Don't be, don't be scared. Huh? Because we broke God's laws and he put us in slavery. Go back to the Bible 28. Yeah, we're the true Israelites of the Bible. Y'all know that? So here's what we got to do. We got to repent. You ever read the Bible? When you read the Bible, where are the Israelites always enslaved? Or, in or they have another nation that's dominating them. Are we being dominated today? Yes. Why? Because we're in sin. And because we're in sin and stay in it, we're always going to be oppressed. Okay? Read it again. So what we got to do? If we're in sin, say it again. My sister, that's what we gotta do. We gotta pass it. Chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So what we're, what we're showing you, what we're showing y'all is we are the we are the Israelites. God, God made a declaration right here. Watch what God's right here. Watch books. But it shall come to But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Young man, you know what the word hearken means? It means to listen to well, you got, you got that, your phone is on? Yeah, there you go, there you go. So I want you to listen to this real quick. It said, if you don't part, you need to listen to To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if you don't have to do what I tell you to do, then that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is it all these curses? Is it a curse an evil thing or is it a good thing? It's an evil thing. So God says, if you don't listen to what Moses is telling you, what I'm telling you through Moses, all these evil things are going to come upon you. And what? And 
overtake thee. So what, whatever you go on the earth, all these evil things are going to happen. So watch this, verse 32. So verse, now let's read some things to see what group of people are on. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Look right here, y'all. Thy sons and thy daughters. Now, this is a lot of evil that happened to our fathers and mothers. They called them slaves, wetbacks, monkeys, or whatever. Right? That's what they did. That's what white folks did to our fathers and mothers, right? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.